क्लिक द बेल आइकन टू गेट लेटेस्ट वीडियोज फ्रॉम इकीडा हेलो फ्रेंड्स इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू सी द पिन डायग्राम ऑफ माइक्रो कंट्रोलर एट जीरो फाइव वन एट जीरो फाइव वन इज अक्सटीन बिट माइक्रो कंट्रोलर सो हियर इन दिस पिन डिस्क्रिप्शन वी आर गोइंग टू सी द डिफरेंट पिन ऑफ माइक्रो कंट्रोलर एंड हाउ द पिन कनेक्शन कैन बी डन इफ यू वॉन्ट टू यूज द एट जीरो फाइव वन माइक्रो कंट्रोलर So here is a pin diagram. It's a 40 pin. You can see you have a pin number is from 1 to 40. So you can this is called as a 40 pin inline package, dual inline package. It's available in DIP. All 40 pins are shown with a different name. So we are going to see for what purpose the different pins are utilized. So here you can see P 1.0 to P 1.7. This is called port one. Then you have P two point zero to P two point seven. This is called port two. Then you have this is port three P three point zero to P three point seven. This is called as a port three. And here we have P zero point four. So port four, port five, and like that. Here A it stands for address. So when you want to share the address. so address bus is nothing but these are the different wires connected which can be used to share the address bus can be used to share the address of the parameters required by the cpu so here a denotes this is a15 a14 a13 and so on so here you can see it is given from a8 to a15 so total 8 pins are given for this address again here we have ad0 to ad7 that means from a0 to a15 we have 16 bit address bus so this pins and this pins can be utilized for address now here you can see the address bus and data bus is merged together so data bus is a bidirectional bus so ad0 to ad7 can be used for a transferring of a data so you can write this as a d0 to d7 that is pin number 39 to pin number 32 then we have a different rxd txt int 0 int 1 we will see each and every pin number differently now this required the vcc and ground connection so if you want to active the microcontroller chip vcc should be given and ground terminal should be connected to the ground potential pin 1 to 8 these pins are known as a port 1 as we have seen these are given from p 1.0 to p 1.7 this port doesn't serve any other function it is internally pulled up by directional io port that means input and output devices can be connected to pin number 1.0 to pin number 1.7 and these are nothing but these are your pin number 1.0 to pin number 1.7 this can be called as a port 1 and input output devices can be connected to this port pin number 9 it is a reset pin which is used to reset the microcontroller to its initial value this is the reset pin this reset pin can be used to reset the microcontroller that means if microcontroller is performing some task for example after execution of the one cycle or the one program it should reset to the initial value that means all value should get 0000 and then one more time it will start executing the program that is we called as a reset that means it come back to the position initial position and then again it will start for the next execution cycle so for that purpose reset pin can be used if reset is high it will reset the microcontroller if reset is low it will microcontroller will work accordingly pin number 10 to 17 this pins are known as port 3 this port serve some function like interrupts timer inputs control signal serial communication signal like rxd and txt so here you can see this is pin number 10 to pin number 17 can be used for a different work so here here int 0 and int 1 stands for interrupt so we have discussed what is interrupt is so this interruption can be 
done by using int 0 and int 2. T0 stands for timer 0, T1 stands for timer 1. This is a 16 bit timer, this is also 16 bit timer. Right, here you can see WR is having a bar over it. That means whenever it is low, this pin will take it as a high. And if write is equal to high, then that means the device which is connected that is ready to write. The document can be edited. So WR bar represent that if it is a 0 that means WR is high that is right is active. If it is 1 that means 1 complement is complement of 1 is 0 then it is low that means the right operation cannot be executed. Same for RD. RD stands for read operation. This read operation can be taken at port P3.7. Then you have RXD and TXD. As we have said that microcontroller can receive the signal and it can transmit the signal. So here RXD stands for receiving and TXD stands for transmitting. Pins 18 and 19. These pins are used for interfacing an external crystal to get the system clock. Although we have the internal crystal oscillator, here we have a pin XTAL1 and XTAL2 that is pin number 18 and 19. So this can be used to connect external clock if it is required. Ground, here this pin number 20 should be grounded, it should be connected to the ground potential. Then we have pin number 21 to 28 as we have discussed, they are for 8 a8 to A15 that means they can be used as an address bus. So P2.0 to P2.7 this port or this pin number can be used for addressing of the data. Then we have pin 29 this is PSEN pin which stands for program store enable. It is used to read a signal from the external program memory. Here we have PSAEN, here this will, if this is enable, enable that means if it is given as a 0, then complement of 0 is equal to 1. That means this pin number 29 will be at high. So it will read the data from the external device. Then we have at pin number, we have ALE slash program bar. Pin number 30 is, this is enable pin which stands for external access input. It is used to enable or disable the external memory interfacing. And pin number 31 is a ALE pin which stands for address latch enable. It is used to demultiplex the address data signal of port. So these are those pins different. This is enable addressing mode. This is latching enable and this is the program mode. Then we have pin number 32 pin number 39 is given for AD0 to AD7 that means this 8 pin can be used for address purpose as well as for a data purpose. Since they are indicated by AD0 where D0 stands for data bus whenever it is performing action on a data bus it will use as a D0 to D7 otherwise they can be used for the address bus. So AD0 and AD7 is nothing but address bus. Then the last pin 40 that is VCC plus 5 volt supply can be given to the microcontroller so the chip will be active. So this is the pin description of 8051 where 8051 is a type of microcontroller. Now let's see what are the different application of a microcontroller. It can be used for light sensing and controlling device like LED. Light can be sensed by using light sensor and the light brightness can be controlled by programming the microcontroller. We have temperature sensing and controlling device like microwave oven chimneys. So temperature can be sensed from the particular environment from the specific places and the temperature can be controlled by using microcontroller. Fire detection and safety devices like fire alarm, fire can be sensed. Measuring devices like voltmeter. In voltmeter also we measure the volt of the voltage across the resistance, voltage across any device so that measurement can be done by using microcontroller. I hope you have understood the pin description, pin diagram of a microcontroller and its application. Thank you for watching this video. Stay tuned to Ikeda. Do subscribe Ikeda. Thank you so much.